Hi, this is Sophie. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel again. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you how to use a split cake together with some other colors to create a pretty princess uh, design and add some jewels uh, in the end because the girls really love that. It's going to be an unusual start because the first step is actually optional. I am using a stencil that has tiny little stars on it. So if you have something that looks like this, then go ahead and use it. Uh, place it at the very top of the forehead um, and uh, put some white on your sponge and tap gently to transfer the white color on the skin through the stencil and do the same thing on the temples on each side. But again, this is a step you can leave out because as you will see in the end, it doesn't bring that much to the design. And now with a small brush, add a tiny little dot at the center of the forehead towards the top. This is only going to be a guiding point that will help us later on uh, to know where to begin. So now let's start to use some really vibrant colors. Um, you will need a split cake with a color combination of your choice. Um, I actually made this one myself uh, and if you would like to learn how to do that, just check out my other video. Um, otherwise, you can also buy these already made um, in online shops. You will also need a 3 quarter inch flat brush and load your brush really well with the colors on both sides. I'm going to paint a series of U shapes all around that dot. I place the brush on the left side of the dot uh, with the white on the inside and do two small U shapes, uh, one on top of the other. I then do a bigger one going all the way down and back up on the other side. I won't be able to finish that one completely because my wrist is not that flexible. So I flip my brush over. I do two uh, small U shapes on this side mirroring the other two and at this point I will be able to finish that big petal at the bottom uh, making sure to trace the colors carefully. It's not perfect but it's good enough. I then place the brush very flat at the top left of her forehead and pull it towards my white dot. Uh, while at the same time twisting it between my finger to make it end very thin on its edge. And then obviously I do the same thing on the other side. And now place the brush very flat on the eyelid with the white color on the inside this time. And I pull gently the brush uh, towards the outside of the face uh, while at the same time twisting it again between my fingers to make sure that I end in a point. Um, I then place the brush at the corner of the eye. This time the purple is on the outside and I do three U shapes or petal shapes um, that all end and begin at the same point. After doing the same thing on the other side, it should look something like this. I now take a round brush, I think it's a number 6, that I loaded with light and dark blue. Uh, just in case you're wondering, I explained uh, the double loading technique in another one of my videos. And I'm doing a reverse teardrop starting at the center of the pink flower shape that I painted at the beginning. And then I do another two reverse teardrops on each side of that first one. And I now proceed um, by doing a series of reverse teardrops, um, always on top of the white colored face paint. After painting the teardrop over the eyebrow, I extend the line uh, towards the corner of the eye using only the very tip of my brush. I took a round brush number three that I loaded with a dark purple color and I am now outlining all the dark pink areas um, with a thin line. Um, in case you notice that the child that you're face painting is starting to get restless, this is definitely a step that you can leave out. I think it looks good and it adds additional contrast to the design, but it's not absolutely necessary to do it. Still using the same brush that I loaded with white, I am going to add a series of teardrops going towards the center of the design in decreasing order on each side, as well as um, under the eye over the cheekbone. Using now only the very tip of the brush, I am slightly outlining each blue petal and I am adding a cluster of very small dots at the inner corner of each eye. 
To stick the jewels on, I am using a special glue and this one is not waterproof, which is very good because it can be washed off with the rest of the paint in the evening. Uh, I will put the details of this product in the description under this video. And I'm now using the little applicator and gently rubbing the areas of the face where I want to put a jewel. Um, because this product is transparent, it's important to remember um, where you put it um, because it won't be visible after a little while. And now all you have to do is stick your jewels on. It's really that easy. Um, now I just want to say something about the jewels. Um, you really have to make sure that you buy some acrylic stones and nothing made out of glass or any other material that might hurt the skin. Um, these can be found in most handicraft store, usually in the area uh, where they sell uh, the supplies for scrapbooks and um, they exist in many different shapes and colors. And to finish it off, I put some pink lipstick um, using a Q-tip that I cut in half because it's more hygienic. Um, and we're all done. I hope uh, that you liked this design and uh, that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye!